Hello and welcome back to Prison Architect. Previous episode, we took on some prisoners and we also made this new cell block. So now we can have more prisoners. 20. And we only have 9. And I think I closed my prison for new intake. Yeah, I did. So now I can open it again and we can fill it up to 20 prisoners. So why did I close my prison for intakes? Well, it's because I had a huge construction project, the cell block. And then uh, when I have a huge construction project, the amount of supply trucks will increase uh, dramatically. There uh, will be a long line of supply trucks. And this game cannot handle that. And uh, when you take in prisoners and you have a huge line of supply trucks, it bugs out. It doesn't count co correctly. And it will give you way more prisoners than you can house anyway. So if you look at our prisoners, uh, what we see is that they have uh, their needs pretty much fulfilled, right? So this guy can uh, take care of, of his bladder and bowels uh, on the toilet here. This used to be all the way empty. They had no needs. But now that they have been here for a while, you can see that their clothing need is increasing. So they want fresh new clothing, clean clothing. So that's what I want to do this episode. They also have a spirituality need. Uh, I'm not going to take care of that this episode yet, but we will some other time. So uh, but let's start with the clothing. And I don't want to only do the clothing. I also want a cleaning cupboard and I want a mail room. I want a laundry and maybe also a library. So I planned in the foundation, I made four rooms. So for every room that I just mentioned, I made a room. This is going to be the library. I think this is going to be the cleaning cupboard. This is going to be the mail room and this is going to be the laundry room. I'm just going to wait a little bit until uh, this is built. And uh, you know, it's pretty simple. It's not too difficult. And we also got some new prisoners. Look at this. Uh, yeah, cool. So, uh, and what I want to also do is I want to build like a fence around this place. Then we can put also a fence gate. And then the reason I built a fence is that I can build a metal detector right here in front of the door. And then uh, they have to go through that metal detector if they want to, you know, enter these rooms because there might be some contraband in these rooms. And if it's a metal contraband, like a knife, I don't know why there would be a knife in the laundry room. But if it's a metal contraband, then it will be detected. So that's cool. And as you might see, all our guards are also occupied so what I also want to do is I want to get some more guards so let's get like five so I uh, built the rooms I also zoned the rooms so now uh, we need to put in some furniture to get these working the cleaning cupboard is the easiest doesn't need any furniture you just have to zone it as a cleaning cupboard and it has to be uh, three by three and this is bigger than three by three so this one works great and uh, let's next do the mail room because the mail room is also pretty easy. What you do is you put some sorting desks, and I think you need a table. So a sorting desk and a table, and that's it. So I'm just gonna put like a bunch of sorting desks and a bunch of tables. There we go. Now four prisoners can work. So yeah, I just looked it up. I think every prisoner needs a sorting desk so they can sort mail on it. And uh, regular tables are used to uh, put mail on. So unsorted mail. So I'm just going to actually put down uh, two big tables instead of like a bunch of small tables. I think it's still the same service area, by the way. But um, I could also put like... Set up a small table there. I could put a big table here. Doesn't look pretty. 
I don't like that. So let's try to make it also a little bit prettier. Maybe put like a plant. What else can I put in there? So I put just some stuff. I put a fan. I put a radio and two plants. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> that's good enough, I guess. It's good enough. And next uh, one is the library. And then uh, as as last, we will do the laundry. So the library, uh, what does the library need? So it needs a library shelf and a sorting desk. So we also need some sorting desks here. And we can put like a bunch of library shelves over there. And then we can put like two sorting desks. I think that looks good. And then the next thing, we can also put like two computers maybe. And I'm gonna even, maybe even get rid of two of these. And what I actually wanted to do is, let's get rid of these computer desks. I want to put a little bit of a place where people can sit and read. The, 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 that looks nice, so I'm gonna do that. I also want a coffee table. Yeah, so we also put a table and we can also put like a bookshelf over here. So that looks good. I'm also going to place two more computers over here. So I think this looks also good. Maybe that's just like a little bit of an empty area. Can we put like a rug? No, you don't have rugs, right? So I'm also going to put like a chess table over there. So the library is also a nice cozy place where people can sit and read, maybe play some chess. So yeah, that looks also really good, I think. So it's almost built. And in the meantime, what we can do is we can design the laundry room. And to design the canteen and the kitchen, we used a website. And I'm going to use that same website to get the right amount of laundry machines, the right amount of ironing boards. So let's go to the website. So this is that website again, and then we can go to the laundry. You know how many prisoners we have? 40? There are two numbers. I still don't get what the difference between the, these two are, but I'm gonna use the one with more items. So six baskets, three ironing boards, two washing machines, this is the one I'm going to use. Okay, so let's build the laundry room. What did we need? We needed two machines. We needed three ironing boards. One, two, three. And we needed six baskets. That's it. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy? Yes. Lemon squeezy. <laughs> so this room is also kind of barren. It doesn't have decorations. Uh, but it's a laundry room, so I don't think that one needs decorations. No, I don't think so. Uh, the next thing that we have to do, though, is we have to connect these with to some water. And I also want to heat this place up. So I'm going to put a boiler here. And then what we can do is we can put some radiators in these rooms and heat this place up because otherwise prisoners are going to start complaining about uh, their warmth or the lack of warmth. So that's what we also need to do. Uh, I think I put one there and then the, it has to go straight down here. That Put one more over here and the warmth needs in these places should also be taken care of. The laundry room is also functioning right now because we don't get that error marker, that red sign that's flashing. So what we can do is we can assign some workers. So there can be 10 people working in the laundry room. I don't, I don't think we need 
10 but uh, I'm definitely gonna put 9 on the cleaning cupboard I'm gonna put 4 on the mail room 6 in the library sure um, yeah you know what I'm just gonna put 10 in the laundry room and we also got another overdose people keep overdosing so that is the next thing that I have to do. I have to build an infirmary so all these people that are overdosing, we can save them because we can't save them right now. And one more thing that I want to do is I want to deploy a guard here. And uh, everything should be set, I think. So we don't need to deploy a guard here when they're sleeping. They won't be here, hopefully. And I also don't think we need to deploy a guard here when they are eating. So only uh, at work, there should be a guard there. And let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Let's see, let's see them working, see what they're doing. So there we go. This is work time or free time. They choose to be, uh, they want to be free. So there we go. This guy is doing something. <laughs> he should be sorting books. So he's going to fill these uh, library shelves with books. What does this guy do? He's delivering mail. So let's see. This guy, yes. He, le <laughs> he is leaving the mail in the gutter. I would much prefer if he left it on their desk or on their uh, bed. But he just uh, puts them in a the gutter. So it's working time again. I also haven't seen anybody use or clean yet. So let's see if they do that as well. No, they go to the library and they go to... Oh no, so three people are working cleaning cupboard. Let's see, oh, people are cleaning. But nobody... Yes, people are doing laundry now as well. So let's see how that goes. Yeah, one person. A lot of people getting caught here. Yeah, a lot of people getting caught there. So yeah, this guy is also doing laundry. Pretty cool. Amazing. It looks good. So what I also can do is I can also uh, like hire a few more janitors. And the janitors also do laundry. I also can get some gardeners. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So we got a working library, a working laundry room. We also see that the shelves are getting filled with books. We got a good mail room. It just works. Mail is getting distributed across uh, the prison or this prison section. And the cleaning cupboard is also working. You saw the prisoners cleaning, so it should be a whole lot cleaner. Yeah, so I want to thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, also leave a comment. Comments really help with the algorithm. And subscribe if you don't want to miss the next episode. Thanks for watching again, and bye bye.